Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you five more awesome tricks for Affinity Photo. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Also on my second channel I have a new video where I talk about the subconscious and how to let your creativity just flow out. Maybe check that out if you want to. Okay, let's get started. So you might know that you can use the crop tool up here to crop pictures and make them smaller. But what if you want to make it larger instead? I'm going to show you how that works. So let's go back here and you can use the crop tool to make a picture larger. That's pretty cool. So click on the crop tool again. You can set up your ratio up here and then simply resize the crop tool so it fits the picture or it fits your purpose and then hit enter and now you can see we have some missing parts here the first tip is that you can use the crop tool to resize the picture the second one is that you can stretch out the background as long as there is nothing inside where you see that it is stretched a little bit. I will show you how that works. So you go to your selection tool, the rectangle selection tool. When you click here, you get a list of them. You want to use this one. Okay, let's select the left side until we hit the flower like that. And then click on the layer and nothing happens. What's the problem here? Well, you can see that the layer is locked, so this is not going to work. So click on the lock sign and now it's unlocked select the layer select your move tool and now you can see you have these handles here grab the left one and just move it outside until it goes a little bit over the border and you can see this fills the background so now if you would hit enter and you would deselect it looks good but we have this little line here we don't want to have that and this is my third trick if you use that let's go back these steps if you move that out like so on your keyboard use the arrow keys and go two hits in the other direction like hit your arrow two times one two so it moves two pixels to the right and now if i hit enter and deselect you can see there is no line it's nice it's perfect as it should be okay let's do the same thing on the other side we select like so then we use our move tool we stretch it out a little bit this time we use the arrow key to hit left arrow one two hit enter deselect and we're done and you can see we have resized the image it's now square but the blossom in the middle is still the same size so that's the third trick how to get rid of that ugly little pixel line that's there Okay, let's go to the next trick I want to show you. And this is about editing and finding areas in your picture. So I have this picture here. And if you hold control and you use your mouse wheel, you can simply zoom into any area where you point to with your mouse. So this makes editing very, very quick and fluid. That's very nice. And the last trick for today is... Let's say we want to remove this brown spot here. Now we can use our patch tool here on the left side. And if you don't see that, click and hold. And there is this list of all these kind of fixing tools. We want to use the patch tool. So click, hold and drag a circle around that area. And you might think now it's kind of hard to find something that actually completely fits in here. And you can try, for example, let's try to use a part of that and you can see yeah, it fits pretty well but what we can do here is now we click and we get these handles here and now they can do two things let's use our trick from before control and mouse wheel to zoom in a little bit so we have our handles here and this allows us to rotate the inside of our selected patch area and it when we click we can also move it around which is also super awesome because now we can line up these areas you can see here we have a line here we have a line here we have a line so if we line that up and this one is a little bit broken here so maybe you rotate it a little bit over here that looks good okay let's click somewhere else boom we are done you can see that has fixed that and it's still following the structure of our image so that's pretty cool that was it for today i hope you enjoyed my five tips thank you very much for watching and maybe check out my second channel see you soon bye